Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you a simple basic tutorial. Some of you have trouble to create the retouch if you create a person segmentation. I just want to show you how to solve this problem and if you are seeing this tutorial right here you maybe know the technique that I want to show you right now. Let me know if some of the steps uh, looks familiar to you. So just let's start. Hello, you see me in my new studio or in my new apartment. I hope you will enjoy this little tutorial. I plan a new tutorials with a little bit more complexity, but this one is a pretty basic tutorial. Let's start with the segmentation, with the person segmentation. So go to add two rectangles, one for the background, one for the person segmentation. Uh, rectangle one. This is for so the segmentation, segmentation, and uh, just copy this one. So Command D, and then this is for the background. And select both of them, and make sure that the height and width is filled. And we need, of course, two, two different materials. The first one is for our uh, background and make sure it's flat and we set the background to, uh, I don't know, uh, some random color in this case and now we create a material for the segmentation. New material, segmentation, and then you need, of course, the texture extraction for server segmentation and recreate the person segmentation. Go to your segmentation material, add, of course, flat to it if you want to, and go to the camera extraction for the texture, and then go to your alpha and go to person segmentation. And now you don't see anything and that's why we need to pull this up right here, uh, down, down below. So it's the layer above, uh, but in Sparkly R it's the one down below. And now we need the retouch. Just go to your face mesh, add a new face mesh, mesh to it and go to material, new material of course. This is our retouch. We call this one retouch as well, retouch. And now double click on this one, it's way easier. Go to retouch and we add the retouch. But this is my neutral skin. <laughs> but when I hide this, it looks better. And I don't know what why it doesn't work with the canvas. And this is... Um, for the segmentation or for any canvas um, as well, you create a new face mesh. Make sure the face mesh is down below your retouch. And now go to your face tracker, go to texture extraction. You need the texture of your face mesh. Put this one to your new face mesh. Go to your material, add a new material to it, of course. Call this mesh texture. Texture. Again, go to the mesh texture, make sure it's flat as well. And now go to the texture and add the face texture to it. And that's not perfect, but you see the result. When you go to your um, material, your retouch material, nothing smooth. So, um, mesh texture, double click on that. You see the lines on over the eyes, so make sure go to um, eyes and mouth, uh, disable this one right here, now it's gone. Go to your mesh and sometimes, not every time, yeah, you see this sweet little line right here. 
and you go to your mesh texture, go to your alpha, select this one, uh, add a new texture, oh hello, <laughs> uh, called face mesh mask and you find this uh, texture in the classic Spark IR assets very well. Uh, I will link it down below, but you find it in Spark AR Studio. So. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And yes, if you have any question about um, Spark AR, or if you have any new idea for tutorials, uh, something you want to know or something you see you want to uh, recreate or want to see recreate right here, please let me know in the comments down below and of course if you enjoy this Ding! tutorial or want to support my channel please leave a thumbs up or maybe a subscription so enjoy the process bye bye